What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo, and I'm going to do a reading for y'all. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thank y'all so much for the likes and subscribe this far. And let's get into this video, y'all. So these are channel messages. I actually channeled these um, earlier today. So I'm going to read you guys what I picked up on while I was channeling. I do have names and locations at the end as well. So yeah, y'all, let's get into this video. Uh, so what I picked up on while I was channeling is that people are actually noticing that you are the generational a curse breaker in your family here okay that you are actually the first to do certain things in your family you're the first to make sure your kids don't turn out a certain type of way or they don't have to go through a certain type of thing you're maybe the first to get married some of you guys you're going to be the first to um, hit a million dollars in your family the first to go to college but people are definitely like taking notice that you are breaking generational curses and this is more than just one like y'all are doing the damn thing okay so there is a complete and total difference from what you are doing um than what the rest of your family has been doing up until this point, okay? So you have completely changed, like, the path of your family, the path of your bloodline, okay? So keep doing what you're doing here um, and keep showing up for people, okay? Because even some of y'all, y'all don't have kids, but you may have, like, nieces or cousins or nephews where you still instill your beliefs or whatever it is you got going on into these children um, or into your children or into the people around you here, okay? So continue to do what you're doing here, okay? Um, I also feel like once you first started breaking these curses, uh, these generational curses or generational cycles, you take it how it resonates. There was like somebody that was trying to make it seem like you were just crazy as fuck. Like you could not do this or you didn't know what you were talking about when it came to a certain thing. But what you need to know about this person is this person is sleep as fuck. Okay. Like they're, they're not an inch of woke. They're never going to be woke in this lifetime. So some of y'all, y'all could have been dealing with like a parent. It could be literally anybody. Okay. So I'm not even going to name nobody specific, but it literally could be anybody that, like I said, they hear you uplifting yourself and other people around you and they say shit like that's dumb and oh my gosh she crazy she really thinks she gonna be able to buy a house she thinks she gonna be able to get through college ain't nobody in our family ever did that like it's that type of energy where this person tried to make it seem like you were crazy even if a lot of y'all like knew hidden truths and you were breaking generational curses by talking about the hidden truths that you know um some of you guys hidden things within your family like certain things um, that people in your family were not talking about, but you guys decided to speak up on it. Whatever's going on, it's like somebody tried to make you seem like you was just crazy as fuck, but they're asleep as fuck, okay? This person will never wake up in this lifetime. This person will never be able to break generational curses, especially not the way that you, you are doing it here, okay? Okay, so don't let anybody that ain't doing shit try to stop you from breaking curses for you and yours, you and your family here, okay? Um... I also feel like a lot of you guys, maybe around the time, some of you guys could currently be going through this, but around the time where this person tried to make it seem like you're crazy and you ain't going to be able to break those generational curses or you ain't going to be able to do that or it's impossible. Nobody can do that. Like, it's like their way of thinking is very, very low. Okay. Uh, but I do feel like around that time, you could have been hearing a lot of synchronicities. I feel like you guys were being aligned. So if you were like, let's say you kept hearing a specific song around that time, uh, in order to align you, okay? Maybe they thought you were crazy because of that or maybe you kept seeing a specific name or you kept seeing something specific where you were supposed to do this or like the universe was talking to you, basically. So it, it does seem like maybe this person tried to make it seem like you were crazy because you were tapped in. It seemed like you were really tapped in. I feel like I need to do this. I feel like, God, the universe wants me to do this. I need to do this. So yeah, um, somebody trying to make you uh, seem crazy for being able to listen and respond to the universe here, okay? To be able to take in the messages, even if it's a song. Oh my God, I heard that song again. I'm telling you, this is a sign. Man, she fucking crazy, girl. Like, the song, I done heard the song five times this year. Like, and they know damn well they ain't heard that song. It's that type of energy. Like, they rolling their eyes at you. She fucking crazy. But at the end of the day, you're not crazy. You actually have been breaking the generational curses. Or you actually have been doing whatever it is that you have been called to do here, okay? So, continue to do what you're doing here. Also, um... I also put you, you guys are reminding people of what their experience here on earth should be like, or it should uh, feel like if this is not earth, this is a specific thing. Okay. So like I said, somebody might've tried to make you seem crazy, but 
you're doing it the way that people should do it, okay? So whatever it is that you're doing, like let's say you do nails, that's my favorite example, but let's say you do nails and they're like, no, don't go to her. She crazy. She thinks she's going to be able to break generational curses. Like, she ain't going to never be able to do that. Okay? And then they come get their nails done by you. And they get the full treatment. Okay? They um they get their nails done for way cheaper than what other people would be doing it for. And then they get a full set and it looks real good. Like, it's like that type of energy here. Okay? Uh, you got, and it feels good. Like, it's like, oh, I got a massage to go with mine. And she put this on my toes. And she did, like, she gave me the full blown experience that's what y'all are doing for people here whatever it is that you're doing you're giving people a full experience here uh, you're reminding people or showing people the way that things really should be so if you're breaking generational curses and you're like hey we shouldn't be doing this like this or we shouldn't be doing this over here we should do this because these are the results that you're going to get and everything is going to look up for us and you're going to be able to reach a million dollars and you're going to be able to do this that's the way that you guys could be talking to people but i do uh, and, and and I do feel like it might have bothered this person, but I do feel like you guys are like, it's like you're reminding people. You might be even teaching people how to manifest. Like you're reminding people like, oh yeah, this is what life is about. Or, oh yeah, this is what all this is about. Okay. Yes. This person over here trying to make you look crazy. Try to make it seem like you didn't know what you were talking about. You weren't going to be able to do that. But I'm telling you, y'all know what y'all are talking about. Okay. So whatever it is that you're speaking on, where you're telling other people like, Hey, come this way. We need to do this. Follow me. Like we're all going to get out of this energy together. Keep doing that. Okay. And let the people that want to be sleep, stay sleep. Okay. They shouldn't be able to stop you anyway. Um, I also put, you guys are nothing but good vibes. You guys are a good time. You're a good person to be around. Um, I, if you're doing something where people have to buy from you, you're getting good reviews. Even if they don't have to buy from you, it seems like people are giving you good reviews. Uh, so keep giving unconditional love. Cause I'm telling you, you're showing people how sh something should be done or how they should feel about something, or you're showing people how to do something that they have not been doing. And I feel like it has something to do with your bloodline. I'm telling you hey family this is not supposed to be done like this we've been doing it wrong the whole time let's do it like that then there go the other person she fucking crazy she don't know what she's talking about but they see you doing your thing now okay so some of y'all could been months since they called you crazy or she ain't gonna be able to do that he ain't gonna be able to do that or years but hey you're doing it okay so continue to do what you're doing because like i said you're reminding people of how it should be done. I'm telling you, whoever doing it, whoever trying to make you seem crazy is like a dictator. Uh, this is like somebody that, oh no, it only could be this way, but it's like they're doing it the hard way. Now I'm hearing, think, oh, well, let's do it uh, smarter, not harder. Okay, let's work smarter, not harder. Like, why we got to do all this extra, whatever it is that this person trying to make you and everybody else, maybe in your family, believe. Okay, so yeah, um, I feel like you're showing people the way. Um, now I put somebody, I put, I put laugh my ass off cause I feel like the energy is funny, but Hey, I put laugh my ass off. Somebody is booing you, but it's cause <laughs> it's cause you won't let them do whatever or two. They don't want you to do whatever it is that you're doing here. Okay. So everybody cheering you on. Yay. And then there's this one person booing you. Boo. No, what the fuck? She don't know what she's talking about. He don't know it. He ain't going to be able to do that. I don't know why it's giving me a grandmother like energy though. So some of y'all, y'all big mama, she, you know, she never gonna wake up in this lifetime. So stop trying, just stop trying. But other of y'all, it could literally be anybody. But while everybody else is cheering you on, this person is booing you. And it's reminding me of a dream that I had like two weeks ago, bro. We were in this audi auditorium and they called my sister's name to get a reward, but they called her food truck name. So they were like, Coco East. The auditorium was filled up with like millions of people. So she's going down there to get her reward. And I'm behind her like, yeah, yeah. Then all of a sudden I hear like a small part. It's like literally 10 people in the crowd. And she get closer to the stage to go get her award or whatever this is. I hear like, boo. It's not like I became losing in the dream. I'm like, who the fuck is booing? Like you ain't finna keep booing my mother. So I went into the crowd to go find the booer. Like, bitch, who you booing at? Like, you a hater because the whole world right now is cheering her on. But it, it was like a handful of, like two handfuls. It had to be like 10 motherfuckers out of a million saying boo. But as soon as I turned around, they stopped that shit. And man, I wish I could have eh, seen who it was in the dream because I be seeing shit. But anyway, 
it's kind of like that. Somebody's booing you because they don't like the way that you do something, okay? I put you need to stay protected. Um, you need to pray. You need to stay prayed up. So, y'all, y'all need to just stay prayed up. Uh, it's not to scare you or anything. Just stay prayed up. I mean, you should be doing that every day anyway. Uh, stay protected. Stay prayed up. Uh, do whatever you do to protect your energy. I put you guys have an evil person that is watching you. And they are monitoring the fuck out of you online. So, whoever this person is, they're evil as hell. They're watching you. And they have been monitoring the hell out of you. Even if it's not like sign in your family, whoever this person is, they've been boom, boom boo and she ain't gonna be able to do that they're just crazy they're just that they've been watching you they be the first one to watch you post they be the first one liking your shit they be the first one okay but they have a heavy evil eye on you right now so like i said do protect your energy because this motherfucker is real evil okay <laughs> so um yeah i put they they will never miss a single post they won't miss shit that you ever will post here okay but they want to boo the fuck out of you but hey they ain't gonna never miss the post, so hey, well, they go a view for you, they go a like for you, whatever it is, okay. But do stay prayed up because they're watching you heavily, they don't fucking like you, and they try to give you the evil eye. Oh, I'm gonna make this happen in her life. Oh, she thinks she can break curses and he gonna do this and that. okay, look crazy. You're you're really something wrong with you. Um, but yeah, this person's doing you, but they really are evil as hell, okay. Um, so I put definitely beefing, I put they feel like they can come for people so they feel like now they don't just feel like they can come for you they feel like they can just come for people in general but i do feel like an energy of them trying to come for you but they feel like they can do this like they got the authority to just come for motherfuckers here to say whatever they want to say to people to knock them down okay um I put that they don't like the way that you do things. I'm telling you, however you're doing things, however you're breaking these generational curses and however you're teaching other people to break them too. They don't like the way that you do shit, but hey, it is what it is. And you getting the job done. And so are other people. Um, but they want to come for you because they don't like the way that you do things. This person is very, very jealous and envious. I also put, they know that you're gifted and blessed. Um, and then God is all over you. Like, they know that you're blessed. They know that you're gifted. They know that you're very abundant. They know that you got God all over you, uh, all over you here. But at the same time, they still feel like they should be able to come at you because they don't like the way that you do shit. But they just jealous because of the light on you, the, the God in you, and the fact that you really can get other people to break generational curses. You're really doing your thing, or you really have the information to share to get other people to get the fuck up, whether they in your family or not. This person watching you online hating on you it, it could be a family member or it could just be a random motherfucker online but they watching you they be the first one they watch you every time giving you the evil eye okay but like i said god is all over you and this person knows that you are gifted and blessed here okay so i asked what is the collective energy and i put if you feel like you're bothering somebody you just disappear okay uh, so maybe you could feel this person's energy or two you know who this person is and you felt like you bothered them so you try to disappear um but what I put is a bunch of people ain't going for that, though. If you feel like you're bothering somebody, I feel like a lot of y'all just want to disappear or get out of the light, get off of social media for a little bit, or you want to stay in harmony mode for a little bit because you could feel that energy of this person hating on you, being envious of you. Do not disappear, okay? Uh, do not leave, okay? I feel like there's a bunch of people that are about to be coming to help you out, okay, a bunch of people, if this is your ancestors, they're not fucking going for that, if this is people in the physical, either way, people not going for that, so however this person thought that they was gonna come at you, it's not gonna happen, because it's a group of people, to, group of people or spirits or energy that's gonna come together and knock this motherfucker out, like, People are not going for this bully energy trying to stop you when all you're doing is breaking generational curses or helping other people to do the same thing here. So like I said, a, a bunch of people are not going for that here, okay? So it's an energy of, oh, you gonna fuck with the collective? Then you gonna have to fuck with me then. You gonna fuck with the collective? Well, then you have to get through me too then. So like I said, this could be spiritual for some of y'all, but some of y'all, y'all got some physical people that's ready to go to war for y'all. Like, you're not gonna uh, fuck with this earth angel. You're not gonna fuck with her no more. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing he doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing on this earth leave him or her to fuck alone you're really just jealous you really just mad because you're not breaking the curses okay you really just mad because nobody gonna listen to you because the way that you do shit okay so that's what's really going on people are stepping in they see what this person is doing to you and they see 
like you like being in the energy where you like I just want to disappear because I don't want to offend anybody or I don't want to do this or like nah people not going for that okay so like I said it's a bunch of people that are going to be standing with you okay if you fucking with the collective then you fucking with me too okay um I put you and this person, you and these people that got your back, y'all are the ones that are equally yoked to each other. It's why these people can use their discernment and know, like, nah, you're the issue. She ain't the issue. He ain't the issue, okay? So people definitely got your back. Um, and I put, this person really didn't believe you could do something so beautifully. Whatever it is that you're doing, like, they just did not think that you could do it, and they did not think you were going to do it as beautifully as you did it. Like I said, you're breaking generational curses like that. 10 in a row, 20, however you're doing it. This is somebody that did not think you could do it or somebody like you would not be able to do it, okay? But you proved them right the fuck on wrong, okay? So that is your energy. You proved this person wrong. You might want to disappear whenever you feel people in your energy or like you bothering somebody or you got... I don't know. It's it's an energy you feeling like you bother. I feel like I'm bothering him. I feel like I'm bothering her. Yeah, because you are, you got a bunch of light in you. But don't dim your light because this motherfucker is bothered. Because they can't do the same shit you're doing, okay? Uh, so at the end of the day, you proved them wrong. Um... I also put this person, they actually know. They actually know that you're really sweet, but this person is still a bad person. They're still awful. They're still really mean. They're still a bully here, okay? They still a bully to you. And I put, um, and this is what other people are not going for. They know that this person knows that you're a sweetheart, that you are genuine, that whatever is going on. And this person still tries to bully you or try to energetically bully you that's why some of y'all don't want to be on social media or that's why some of y'all take long ass breaks or that's why some of y'all go hermit mode for a long time or y'all stay away from your friend group for a long time because it's one motherfucker okay so like i said this person knows that you're actually sweet but they're still mean to you and that's why other people are not going for it or they're still trying to bully you or bring you down and that's why other people are not going for it like how dare you try to bring this person down they're really a sweetheart you really just jealous it's like people are going to be calling them out you really just mad you're really just jealous okay we are not going for that heavy on people not going for that shit okay um i said and i put because they know that the way that this person treats you isn't right. Like, everybody knows it. Everybody peeps it. Like, even if it's your own family member, your own mom, like, she mean to you for no motherfucking reason. It's not your own mom for everybody. But you know that one person where it's like, the mom be nice to everybody, then all of a sudden, you motherfucker. It's like that. People not going for that no more. Whoever's treating you like that, they're not going for that. They they are well aware that, uh, that this person is jealous here, okay? And they are well aware of this person's tactics and what this person is doing or this person is trying to do, okay? Um, uh, I also put advice and I put do not get angry with this person because it is a test. Okay, so a lot of you guys, you've been working on yourself, you've been raising your vibration, you have been breaking in generational curses. This person is doing them things, uh, basically as a test. Of course, they're not sitting here like, let me test this motherfucker. This would be God energy testing you here. So do not react with, to this person and do not get angry with this person here. Okay, keep your heart chakra clear. Okay, because this is a test. This person going to try to probably test y'all. They're going to probably try to make y'all look crazy again. But just stay calm because other people are coming in and er, chill the fuck out. You're not going to keep attacking the collective. Like Y'all, you're doing too much on the collective when you a hater. That's, that's really the vibe I'm getting, okay, collective? So the advice is don't get angry with them. Realize that they just mad because they cannot get in the same they can't do the same shit you're doing they can't they couldn't break the generational curses they cannot do that they're not capable of doing whatever it is that, that you're doing here um so like i said it's a test keep your heart chakra clear all right i love y'all so much let's get into these names and locations um so we got los angeles hollywood compton san francisco riverside but anywhere in california knoxville nashville memphis but anywhere in tennessee atlanta Pittsburgh, uh, Reading, Philadelphia, but anywhere in Pennsylvania, Chicago, Las Vegas, Little Rock, Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, New Orleans, but anywhere in Louisiana, Blackburg, but anywhere in Blacksburg, my bad, but anywhere in Virginia, uh, Staten Island, but anywhere in New York, Miami, Winter Springs, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Bar uh, Bartow, 
but anywhere in Florida, Detroit, Wisconsin, Huntsville, but anywhere in Alabama, Jackson, but anywhere in Mississippi, Kansas City, uh, Flemington, but anywhere in New Jersey, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, uh, Waco, El Paso, Dallas, but anywhere in Texas, Greensboro, Victoria, but anywhere in Toronto or, or Toronto, but anywhere in Canada. Okay. Cause I really think Victoria was a different location, but isn't Victoria also in Canada? So anywhere in Canada, Columbia, British Columbia, isn't that Canada as well, but there's another Columbia as well. So when I say these cities and states, I could be saying Huntsville and that could be for Alabama, but there could be a Huntsville in Arizona that I never knew about. Okay. So take it how it resonates for you. Um, anyway, Huntsville, oh, Jackson, Mississippi, Kansas City, Flemington, New Jer anywhere in New Jersey, Houston. Oh, I already said all of them. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Columbia, Ohio, Arizona, and Alaska. Sorry, y'all. All right, now let's get into these names, all right? So when it comes to the names, also remember rhyming names. I could say Redford, and the name could be Bedford, okay? But yeah, let's get into it. Dixon, Ava, Jimmy, Redford, uh, Marcel, Mona, Dwayne, Carlos, Jemaya, Hannah, Witten, Kane, J Rock, Jaylena, Gregory, Key, Keys, Nene, Diana, Tez, L, Steph, Rex, Thomas, Daniel, Hammock, Lisa, Sherry, or Shari, my bad, Sophie, Asher, Winston, Maria, Joe, Gordon, Belle, Maya, Chrisley, Leon, Cedric, Lee, Sarah, Monet, Michael, Essie, Devin or Devon, sorry, Darius, Rocky, Ashley, Shay, um, Aaliyah, Laquita, Bruno, Colin, Marvin, Vaughn, Destiny, West, Hector, Chris, Marielle or Marielle, Tori or Troy, my bad, I did not say Tori, Troy, Troy, Nisha, King, Pierre, Natalie, Dion, Raven, Shell, Samaj, Courtney, Amy, Mariah, Ezekiel, Maya, Lynn, Jalen, Don, Marvin, Reggie, Andre, Peterson, Francis, T, Jariah, Bella, Kai, Tiana, Miller, Williams, James, Jessica, Q, Ivan, Toya, Lulu, Tasha, Warmack, Cam, Pam, Dean, Nehemiah, Mocha, Cora, Diamond, Spencer, Blaine, Lala, Savannah, Kadarius, Labella, Vicky, Hayward, Paula, Harris, Victoria, Elisa, Taylor, Candy, Sandler, Amina, Perry, Braxton, Jayla, Edwards, McLean, Gracie, John, Natalia, Riley, Jewels or Jules, Tina, Bianca, Alice, Allison, my bad, Alex, Karen, and Grace. All right. I hope it resonates. Love y'all. Bye. Go and take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go and take a little dip. Go and take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. Cause the car, the cars, the key clarity. The cars, the cars, the key what you need. Subscribe to my channel.